What is up ladies and gentlemen, CJ the Cheese DJ here and we are back with another Ark Insight and today we are taking a look at the Therizinosaurus versus the Roll Rat. Now the Roll Rat is obviously aberration exclusive however you can get him on the other maps. So first off let's get into their base stats. Now before we begin just want to say, I've, I felt like I haven't said this in a very long time, I just want to say a huge thank you for all your guys' continued support on all the videos. It means a lot to me, so thank you very much guys for the support. Now, let's get into the video. So, kicking it off first, the Therizino's base stats, we're going to drop all this junk, we don't need it for anything. Actually, we might just we might just quickly grab the shotgun bullets here, sorry, let's just grab that. They're just from pesky annoyances, alright, there we go. Alright, so, Therizino's base stats, at level 1, you can see level 1 there. 870 health, 300 stamina, 365 weight, and 125.8 melee damage. Not a bad amount of stats for it at level 1. Now, the Roll Rat, on the other hand, has 765 health, pretty good, 400 weight, 300 stamina, 134.1 melee damage. Now, I who has the higher health? Let's just quickly come back across here. Okay, so the Therizinosaurus has the higher health by a tiny bit, by about 190, I'd say. Well, yeah, you can see the 765, the Therizino had 800 and something. So, yeah, so pretty decent stats for the two. I think it's going to be a very close one today, actually. So, first up, let's get into their movement speed. Okay, so we tested their movement speed by running two, between two different rocks. So we started at this rock here, and we ran pretty much to this rock in front of us where that Tyrannodon is. Now, the Therizinosaurus managed to pretty much complete it in six seconds. You can see there, we managed to get there in about six seconds, which is a really solid amount of movement speed. You can see the Therizino is a pretty solid mount when it comes to speed-wise. However, stamina-wise, it is a little bit lacking, and it does run out of stamina after a little bit longer. So about 30 seconds for stamina on the Therizino. Now, the Roll Rat managed to complete it in about 8 seconds. We started at the same point as the Therizinosaurus, and you can see we ended up at the same point of the rock in about 8 seconds, I'd say. You can see there, pretty roughly, 8 seconds. Now, this was the Roll Rat's run ability, not the rolling ability. We'll get into that now to see just how fast the Roll Rat actually can complete the course. My god, I, the turning radius on the Roll Rats is ridiculous. Alright, so that rock there is in front of us. We're going to give it a good old solid go. Let's go. So... Two seconds, if that. You can see that he managed to destroy the rock. So the Roll Rat is definitely the fastest when it comes to rolling. However, sprinting Therizino obviously takes the cake. But, you know, that's to be expected. The Roll Rat is hands down one of the fastest creatures in Aberration due to its rolling ability. So there is that to take into consideration. Now, while we're here, we're just going to go into their turning a bit radius. The Roll Rat's turning radius is horrendous. I absolutely hate the Roll Rat's turning radius. It can't turn to save its life. It's so bad. I, the amount of times I've had bad luck with the Roll Rat's turning radius is just ridiculously high. So not only is it hard to maneuver while sprinting, but also while rolling, it's a very difficult process to get it to turn while rolling. So take that into consideration when you're planning on taming a Roll Rat and when you want to use it for turning. The best way I've found to turn with the Roll Rat is just take it to walking speed and you'll be able to actually maneuver it better that way. Now, the Therizino's turning radius is a lot better than the Roll Rat, I can tell you that now. He's pretty much got a pivot on the point turning radius. It's pretty good, actually. I, you can't fault the Therizino when it comes to turning radius, and obviously his walk speed is pretty much just like a 360 on the spot, so it's pretty good. He's much better than the Roll Rat, I can tell you that now. And you see, we've currently got the Roll Rat to follow the Therizino, which is down on the beach, and because his turning radius is so large, he genuinely cannot maneuver himself around everything. I've had this problem happen to me plenty of times, and because their AI doesn't allow you to use their roll ability, it really sucks. Alright, so let's just quickly test out their swim speed in the water, and as you'd expect, the Roll Rat is terribly slow. Although he kind of looks very funny while swimming. Check him out. <laughs> He's kind of, I don't know why we're just kind of like stuck in this one spot. There we go. You can see that. That's a bit better now. You can't actually use his saddle ability in the water either, and his turning radius is just as bad in the water as it is on land. Now, another thing I just forgot to mention quickly is that the Roll Rat's saddle actually is able to seat up to four people, which is a great addition if you're planning on raiding or just trying to traverse Aberration or any map in specific, because you can just all pack into the mount. I think it's four people. And you can just set the Roll Rat to roll, and it's a great way to traverse the map. Uh, let's just take a quick look here. Yeah, your passenger seats two, three, four, five. So you can sit actually up to seven people by the looks of it. The rider seat and then two people on each thingy. That's a pretty solid amount. So seven people sit on that. Now the Therizino's swim speed in the ocean. We're about to test that now. 
It's probably going to be a little bit before he gets to the ward because he's such a bloody tall dino. There we go. And you can see there, he's faster than the roll rat, I think. However, obviously, he's not that decent in water. He's not a water dino. Obviously, these guys are suited to land. But look at his claws. They're kind of funny. Like they'd help him swim. So, yeah, the Therizinosaurus, not the greatest swimmer. But, you know, what, what would you expect? You're obviously not going to send these guys out into the ocean to gather materials for you and stuff. You're just probably going to use them to try and cross the little rivers or lakes that pollute the islands and maps of Ark. Okay, so next up is their melee damage. Now, the Therizino has three attacks, technically. You can see there we've just pulled off all three. One, two, and then three. Now, each of these attacks deal a different amount of damage. His primary attack is obviously his strongest, 65 there. You can see there from our primary attack. His secondary attack is only like a fiber picking attack. And you can see it only does five damage, which is, you know, what you'd expect. And then his third attack deals 52 damage, which is a pretty solid amount. Now, each of these abilities, we're just going to quickly go over them. Each of these attacks allow him to harvest different resources. His swipe attacks allow him to gather trees and thatch. You can see that we're not getting anything from these bushes. You actually have to use your secondary attack to gather fiber and your third attack in order to gather berries. You can see they were able to gather berries like so. But his primary attack is mainly for gathering wood and thatch. And you can see he gathers a crap ton of it, which is what puts the roll rat with his money to his mouth, because the robot does the exact same thing as the Therizinosaurus. The only downside is that the Therizinosaurus doesn't actually reduce the weight of wood in its inventory, I don't believe. No, it doesn't. And the raw rat also doesn't collect fiber like the Therizinosaurus does. So we're just going to do a quick recap of his melee damage. 65, 5, let's say 10 because he hits twice, and 52. Now, the raw rat only has one attack. I know it's very disappointing. Well, he technically has two. His roll attack can be counted as an attack, but it doesn't deal that much damage unless you have a high tier saddle. You can see his primary attack, it does 56 damage. He doesn't have a right stick attack, but he does have his roll attack, and it just does a bunch of zeros. You can see there, we did actually kill the die bear though. However, how? I'm not sure, because it did come up with zeros, unless there was a couple of ones in there that we may have missed. But the roll ability technically allows him to pretty much break through any terrain in his path. However, he does have to get a bit of a running start to get through it. So there is that to take into consideration. He also has the ability to gather wood and berries like the Therizinosaurus. We're going to go into a little depth of who gathers the most. But you can see the roll rat's able to shred through all that as well. And rocks. It's funny because you can see how pixelated the inside of the rocks are. So that is the Royal Rat's abilities as well as melee damage and the Therizinosaurus's melee damage as well as abilities. So now we're going to test how who gathers the most. Okay, so both dinos have gathered wood from a single tree, one single tree using their main attacks. And you can see here, the Royal Rat managed to get 148 wood and 29 thatch, which is a pretty solid amount. One thing we did forget to mention about the Roll Rat is that he actually reduces the amount of wood in his inventory. So you can see here, a stack of 100 on the Roll Rat is only 10, whereas on us, it is 50. So it reduces it by five times the amount, which is a lot of weight reduction. So you're definitely going to want to use the Roll Rat to harvest wood. Now, the Therizinosaurus striking one tree managed to gather 29 thatch and 124 wood. Now, unlike the Roll Rat, the Therizinosaurus doesn't reduce the weight of wood, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it still gathers quite a bit. Not as much as the Roll Rat based off this test, which is surprising. I thought the Therizinosaurus would actually gather more wood and thatch than the Roll Rat. They did gather the same amount of thatch, which I do find kind of funny. Okay, next up, their berry gathering. So there's a single bush in front of us. You can see these guys are not full on food. They're probably going to have a couple of the berries. But you can see, we're just going to take a quick look. He's eaten one berry. Okay, so on average, he's got 23, so about 4, 38, 43, what is that? Uh, 56, 65. So the Roll Rat managed to gather about 86 berries, 87 berries, because he did eat one. So 87 berries off a single bush, which is pretty impressive. So the Roll Rat gathered 87. I apologize for my terrible maths as well. I know it's not the greatest. Now, the Therizino, on the other hand, let's take a quick look here, do a quick count. 24, 16, that is 40, that's 55, that's 64, 68, oh god, that's a big number, 68. So the Therizino's eaten 5 berries, 60, 74, 74, so about 88 berries, 88 berries between the two. So they're pretty average, pretty relatively equal in terms of berry gathering 
88 for the Therizinosaurus, including the ones that he ate. I can't remember the exact amount of the roll rats, but you would have heard it in the video previously. So, you know, they're pretty on par with most of their gathering abilities. Honestly, if you had the choice between taming a Therizino and a roll rat, I would honestly go with the roll rat due to its ability of reducing the amount of wood it harvests, as well as the roll ability that it has and the ability to seat the extra players. Okay, next up, we'll be doing their battle to the death. Now, essentially, we'll probably be unclaiming the roll rat and getting the Therizino to attack, or actually, we might be unclaiming the Therizino and getting the Therizino to attack the roll rat, as the Therizino does have slightly more health as well as hit harder than the roll rat. So let's just check off their saddles and we'll get them set up. Now, one thing that I did forget to mention about the Therizinosaurus is that you can actually sacrifice his levels that he has. You can see here he's got five levels available to himself, but you can actually sacrifice these levels to increase his harvesting levels. Now, you can see here we can't actually do it at the moment because we've got players only, but you can actually increase the amount of his power harvesting as well as his delicate harvesting. So his delicate harvesting counts as the fiber and berries, whereas his power harvesting counts as wood and thatch. So he does have that over the roll rat. However, I still honestly think the roll rat is the better team because of the weight reduction it gets from carrying wood. Okay, so they're all set up, ready to go. We've brought a little spectator along for the match, and here we go. We're going to see who wins. Now, I honestly think the Therizino will win. You can see he's hitting 65. The roll rat's only hitting 56. The Therizinosaurus also has more health than the Roll Rat, so I honestly do not think the Roll Rat will win victory. You can see they hit 52 under Y, but uh, there we go. You can see the Roll Rat has just been murdered by the Thera. Let's take a quick look here. He's on about half health. I've noticed that, yeah. So he did about 510 points of damage to the Therizinosaurus. Not enough to kill it. The Therizinosaurus is the victor. Honestly, it all comes down to your personal preference on what you want to tame. If you're on an Aberration server, you're obviously going to definitely want to tame up the Roll Rat. But if you're on your regular Island server or Ragnarok server and you have the option between the two, it's a tough one because the Roll Rat is better for gathering, whereas you can use the Therizino to take on bosses, take on Rexes, even take on other PvP players because it has the ability to knock them off of their mounts and shred armor. So it all comes down to your personal preference and what you'd want to use it for. But that'll pretty much conclude this video. The poor Roll Rat has been absolutely mutilated. The Therizinosaurus is the v victor. I, like I said, comes down to personal preference. But if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to catch you in the next one. I got this